Love is who you are, always. October 23, 2015 The news on the mainstream media continues to present an alarming selection of catastrophes and disasters, but things are not as they appear. Yes, there is much suffering, but it is being resolved, as human kindness on a vast scale responds compassionately as never before in human history to those in dire need. And that massive outpouring of compassion is having an enormous effect, as well as further empowering humanity's collective decision to awaken from the illusion, and, as they do so, dissolving the worst of the horrors that man has been inflicting on man, brother on brother, sister on sister, for eons past. Truly, a massive and most wonderful change in attitudes worldwide has occurred over the last five or six decades as awareness has grown that those in need can and should be helped, regardless of whether or not their neediness is seemingly due to their own mistakes. Those in dire need have been ignored or taken advantage of for a very long time, but now humanity, despite the angry and alarmist noises of those fearing massive influxes of impoverished refugees and of the politicians who rely on them for election, has made an irreversible decision to be guided by love and compassion instead of solely by personal and fearful self-interest. The outpourings of generosity and kindness by millions of individuals across the whole planet to those who are hungry and homeless have never before been so widespread. Change of enormous magnitude is happening right now as the tsunami of love gathers strength and spreads compassion across the world to bring loving help to those who truly need it. It is impossible for any in the so-called developed world to remain unaware of the suffering of the impoverished and dispossessed. How each individual reacts to this awareness is up to the individual. Judgment is being released as many realize that only those who have faced their demons, their shadow side, the unacceptable aspects of themselves that, out of fear, they have denied, can truly live from love and compassion as they learn to accept themselves utterly and completely. You were created perfect by God, who accepts you utterly, without conditions of any kind, so do as He does, accept yourselves unconditionally. When you do, acceptance of others follows naturally because you are engaging with the oneness that is God and letting go of your sense of separation, of aloneness, of singularity, and of course, of any sense of unworthiness or unacceptability which has been culturally ingrained within your human form or to which you may have been clinging in false egoic humility. The good news is that more and more of you are facing those unacceptable aspects of yourselves and coming to see that they are, for the most part, perfectly normal aspects that enable you to develop and use the creative abilities with which your father so lovingly endowed you. Being one does not mean being the same. In oneness you are each free and encouraged to develop your individual and God-given creative skills for your own personal satisfaction without restriction. When you do, you delight God and all of creation by demonstrating the loving diversity that is an essential aspect of oneness. Love is who you are, always, but, within the illusion, the sense of separation and aloneness that it provides encourages fear, which refuses to acknowledge or honor love. Go within. Surrender to the divine flame of love that burns eternally within you, and let go of fear. Fear needs feeding, and it is fed by worry, anxiety, anger, and non-acceptance, and all of those are emotions or feelings with which you can refuse to engage. Ask for help from those in the spiritual realms to do this, because initially it can appear unwise not to be aware of possible events or situations that might arise to harm you. However, Harm only occurs when love is absent, and it is only within the illusion that love appears to be absent, so harm is part of the illusion and is unreal. Love, apart from being all that exists, when it is experienced within the illusion, arises as a healing balm, a comforting companionship, a soft and soothing flow of feelings that bring you a sense of well-being, of safety, and a knowing that all manner of things will be well. Then you leave that quiet inner sanctuary and are once again bombarded with the all the distractions that the illusion supplies and would have you believe are real. When you get caught up again in the apparent reality of the illusion as you are bombarded with news of war, suffering, corruption, dishonesty, financial shenanigans, and general unliving events, 
Use the news that unsettles you as an urgent reminder to revisit your holy inner sanctuary to connect with reality through the field of love that flows constantly within and through you. Love is always there for you to connect with, it is who you are, and you can never be separated from it. When it seems that you are unloved, alone, abandoned, it indicates that you are allowing yourself to be drawn into the fear and anxiety of the illusion, and that you need to withdraw inwards to refresh and invigorate yourself. And ask us for help. You have to ask because we cannot come into your private personal and most holy sanctuary unless you invite us to do so. We are constantly available, awaiting your call, so call us and enjoy the sensation of our loving and instant response. With so very much love, Swall. Channeled by John Smallman. JohnSmallman.wordpress.com